Okay, I'm gonna perform a safe start. First thing I wanna do is make sure that my tractor brakes are set and my trailer brakes are set and my transmission is in neutral. Then I'm gonna turn the key to the on position. I wanna make sure my ABS lights go on and go off. If they do not, there is an issue with my ABS system. Next, I'll turn my truck on. With my truck on, I'm gonna start checking my gauges, my water temperature, my voltmeter, my oil pressure, and my air gauges are all rising to the proper operating level. Next, I'll inspect my mirrors and my windshield. My mirrors are clean, they are not cracked or damaged, and they are properly adjusted to me. My windshield is clean, not cracked or damaged, and there are no illegal stickers. On my windshield, I have my wipers. My wipers are securely mounted. They're not cracked or damaged. My wiper blades sit flush, uh, flush on the windshield. They are not cracked or damaged. I also wanna make sure my wipers and my washer fluid are operating properly. Next, I'll inspect my dash indicators. My left turn signal, my right turn signal, my high beams, and my four-way flashers are operating properly. Next, I'll inspect my city horn. My city horn is operating properly. Would you like me to inspect my air horn? Next, I'm gonna inspect my defrost and my floor heat. My defrost is operating properly. My floor heat is operating properly. Next, I'm gonna make sure I have my fire extinguisher. It's securely mounted, it's fully charged, and properly rated for this vehicle. Next, I'll inspect my seat belt. It's securely mounted, it latches and unlatches securely. My seat belt is not worn, torn, or frayed, and it's properly adjusted to me. I also want to make sure I have three reflective triangles and spare fuses. Next, I'm going to perform a tug test. For this test, I'm going to check my trailer brakes first. I'm going to release my tractor brakes. I'll put my transmission in drive. I'm going to tug three times to make sure that my trailer brakes are working and that my tractor and trailer are securely connected. One. Two. Three. Set my tractor brakes. Release my trailer brakes. And I'm gonna check to make sure that my tractor brakes are also operating properly. Put my transmission back in drive, and I'm gonna tug one time. And my tractor brakes are operating properly. The next test I'm gonna do is my service brake test. For this test, I'm gonna release both my brakes. I'm gonna put my transmission in drive, and I'll keep my hands loosely on the wheel, travel forward at about five miles per hour, apply gentle pressure to my service brake, and what I'm looking for is to make sure that my steering does not pull to one side or the other. If it does, there might be a braking problem or a suspension problem.
and my steering did not pull to one side or the other. Next, I'm gonna perform my series of air pressure tests. For these tests, I wanna make sure that both of my tractor brakes and trailer brakes are released, that my transmission is back in neutral. I'm gonna make sure that I have enough air in my air tanks to perform my first test. I'll turn my truck off. Turn the key back to the on position so that I can read my gauges. Once my gauges have settled, I'm gonna perform my air leakage test. For this test, I will apply firm pressure on my service brake. Once my gauges have settled, I should lose no more than four PSI in one minute. My gauges have settled and my minute starts. After it has been a minute, release your brakes. I lost no more than four PSI in one minute. The next test I'm gonna perform is my low air alarm test. For this test, I will fan my brakes and my low air alarm should activate at 60 PSI or above. I will fan my brakes and watch my gauges. And my low air alarm activated at 60 PSI or above. The next test I will perform is my TPV test. For this test, my TPV should pop at the same time or before my tractor parking brake between 20 and 45 PSI. I'm gonna fan my brakes and I'm gonna watch my valves until they pop. My TPV popped at the same time or before my tractor parking brake between 20 and 45 PSI. This concludes my pre-trip inspection.